Good afternoon and welcome to a home vlog, sort of. <laughs> it's a home vlog. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go out for a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna have a little lunch date. I'm excited, we get to do something together. Well, yeah. with Jackson, Jackson's gonna be there too. He's sleeping right now. It's gonna be fun, I'm excited. Like, I like food. <laughs> <laughs> I like food too, but I also like, I've missed the home vlogs. I miss seeing you, I miss vlogging with you and I don't know, it's just, this is nice. I'm excited for today, I'm very excited. Yeah, uh, and as you all know, recently we went on a trip to the tree houses at Saratoga Springs. We did. And also, we didn't film this, but we went to Jackson's grandparents' house too. Mm -hmm. And between those two trips, we it kind of cemented the idea. We realized that our car was too small. I think we knew this as soon as we had Jackson. Yeah. Because our car is a Chevy Bolt, it's not, huge but when it was just the two of us it was fine yeah there's plenty of room yeah we had tons of room like <laughs> now with all of the things that you need to bring along for a baby especially for an infant it's a lot yeah so just to give an example his stroller takes up the majority of the trunk space the trunk is like a hatchback so it's tough to it's just it's not the size of a normal trunk it's small so today we're gonna go out and test drive some cars. So the one thing that we've been talking about is that we definitely wanna stick in the electric vehicle, like family, like right. genre of cars. We, we definitely wanna make sure that we have that option. Mm -hmm. So the Volt is both electric and gas, right. but we primarily use the electric function. Right. Right, like when's the last time you had to use the gas like in the car? Oh, when I went down to Bathtub Beach. Oh, because that was such a far drive. it was such a far drive, yeah. But normally, like what's your range that you get? Around 52 miles. No, I mean, uh, of in oh, the- Oh, in a tank? Yeah. Oh, I, the 2,000, 3,000, somewhere in there, miles. Which is great. Like, that's amazing. So and it's like a seven gallon tank too, so. Yeah, it's like a little a little baby, like a half tank. So you wanna stick, we wanna keep doing that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's great, it's better for the environment, so we definitely wanna keep doing that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm leaning towards full electric. Right, So, but I think, so at first, I was nervous. I'm like, what happens if we, can't charge, what happens? There's just a lot of like variables, a lot of what ifs. So I, I like the fact that we now have a hybrid. It's a hybrid, right? Mm, they don't call it a hybrid. They, do call they call it a plug-in, they call it, what do they call it? They call it electric because mm -hmm. it, 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 it's it, technical issues here. It runs on battery first, and then once the battery runs out, it turns on a generator to run the electric motors. Whereas a hybrid runs on battery, and the motors power the wheels in order to provide better gas mileage. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So like when you're first in your when you're in a hybrid, when you're first starting out from a gas or from a stoplight, you're on electric and then the gas engine turns on and powers mm -hmm. the wheels. Okay. Whereas with ours, it's electric until the battery runs out. Gotcha. So, long story short, I like that we have that option too just in case. Yeah. I don't know. It makes me feel I just it's like a safety net. But the newer electric cars will go 300 miles on a charge, which right. is the equivalent of a tank of gas in a normal uh, gas car. Gotcha. So. Yeah. So like the technology has definitely changed since we bought the Volt. When did we buy the Volt? That was like in- 2017. Okay, so yeah, that was like three years ago. Yeah. So we're gonna go look at bigger cars today and then we're gonna go have lunch. Yeah. Somebody's awake and in a fancy outfit. Are you saying hi? Are you waving at everyone? Hi. Hi. Hi, Jackson. Hi. <laughs> you want to show them how we do high five now? Oh, high yeah. five. <laughs> you did so good, buddy. Yeah, look at so, these shorts and everything. Say, Grandma and Grandpa bought me some big boy clothes. Yeah. Yeah, and I love them so much. He looks so cute. We were just talking about how he looks like a little boy now. Like He looks he, like a... He doesn't look like an infant, like a baby, you know what I mean? He looks like a, a, little, a little big boy. Yeah, a little big boy. High five again. <laughs> that buddy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I just can't believe how big you're getting. Right? So now we're going to go head out. We're going to try to shove everything in our teeny tiny car. <laughs> and um, one thing I'm hoping for with this test drive is... See, I just want to pull mama's hair. Yeah. Um, one thing I'm hoping for with this test drive is I hope that they will let us put the car seat in the car. Right. Because I want to see... How <laughs> he's very excited because I want to see how that fits. They'll like we've never test drove a car with a baby, like with a car seat. So 
Hopefully they'll let us do that. They should, right? Uh, maybe. I think so. Mm. If I were doing it, I would say, yeah, sure. Bring the baby. Bring that little buddy. Well, it's not even that I want to bring him on the test drive. I mean, I would like to do that, but I just want to see how the car seat fits in the car because that's like a big yeah. part of buying the car. Right. Right, bud? Yeah. So, should we go? Yeah. All right, we've made it to our first stop, the Tesla dealership. All right, we are in the Model Y. I gotta figure out how to like move the seat forward because I need more. They let us bring Jackson's little car seat in. Yeah. And we have our, what is what do they call this? Like, like a, a moon, panoramic? A panoramic moonroof. Sorry for the air conditioner noise, but it is, it's just too hot to turn it off right now. But uh, what do you think so far? She gave you like a crash course in how to drive it. Yeah. So they're doing like contactless test drive. Yeah. So I like it. The only thing that I'm not liking right now is like, I can't really feel the air conditioner up here. Oh no? No. I can feel it back here because I have this vent. Yeah, we're pretty cool, huh, buddy? What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Now turn right onto Kennedy Boulevard. I do like the the like panoramic sunroof sunroof thing. thing. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is that it it makes it hotter in here. Right. Well, this is supposed to be tinted enough. I mean, it is definitely tinted, but I don't know if it's tinted enough. And I have more space in here than I have in the Volt, for sure. Like, more legroom and stuff. It feels better sitting up higher, too. Yeah, we're not got, much higher, but it does, you can tell. I got way more windshield to look out of. The back window is very small, though. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it is very small. And then there's the stroller in the trunk. So we definitely have more room in the trunk, and we'll show you. We'll show you more when we actually get out of the car. But all right, now it's driving itself. All right, we're like, gonna go around a turn here. This this is gonna be fun. Oh, what do you think? Whoa! Wow. Now this is they all come with this. Yeah. But they don't all come with the. What is it saying? It's telling me something. Oh, there's a, 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 a light coming up, and it's like I can't do that. Oh. I don't know how to do that. But there, what was the thing that was that it doesn't come with? Uh, it doesn't come with, uh, like, self-driving. Autonomous driving, okay. Yeah. But this is self-driving. Well, no, this is... Right on to this is autopilot. Oh, okay. Not self-driving. Gotcha. Now turn right onto Hope Road. So we're, she put us in a destination to go drive to the supercharger spot? Yeah. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. So she did say that we could go wherever we want. We just have 30 minutes for the test drive. So in these 30 minutes, we can take the car wherever we want to take it. But she put in a destination for we'll us take the interstate to the mall. So we're going to the mall. Come on, Jessica. Come on, Tori. Let's go to the mall. You won't be sorry. So here it is. This is the Model Y in blue with the black induction rims, it's got good space in it. Let's see if I can, I don't have the key, it's inside the car. Let's see if I can open it up still. Oh yeah. So like we put the stroller in and there's plenty of room. There's Jen. Hi. She used to have to duck in the vault every time that I was like, I'm closing the trunk, <laughs> duck your head. And now she doesn't have to, in this car at least. And then you push the button and it closes on its own. good and then you can also open up the front let me let me open that up so there's just a little button on the center display and you can open this up oh yeah it's pretty good space right there like that would fit a carry-on luggage no worries she also said if you have stinky diapers put them in there because it's sealed it's weather sealed so they would the smell would stay inside yeah there it is there is the model y I'm, I'm like, like kind of sweaty from riding in it because the AC didn't cool me down very much. I feel like it's a good looking car. I like this Maserati that's pulling up behind us. It's almost the same color, right? I don't know. I feel like it's a good car. It's a good looking car. It drives really well. So I think we're going to go back and ask her about like the tint. Can the tint be any darker? Can the sunroof, like the, the roof that's all glass be any darker? It is a good looking car though. And it drives really well. 
so we're headed back to the dealership now, but I think we figured out what was going on. I hope so. We'll see if it gets cooler. So it wasn't on recirculate the air. It was pulling in the outside air, which is it's 90, 100 degrees outside. <laughs> so so it was not getting cool. Yeah, it wasn't cooling off. Oh yeah, it feels better now. Okay, good. Okay. Because that was going to be a deal breaker right there. Yeah, that was, I was going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're in the Model 3 and I can already tell a difference in the amount of space that I have in the back seat here. <laughs> do you like it? You're just having fun, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you think about the space? Yeah, look, my knee is already hitting that. Oh yeah. And like that wasn't happening in the other car. I think we just need the taller, like we need more space up here for you, I think. Yeah. So with the Model Y, you sit like you're in a regular chair, your legs go down, but with this one, your legs go out. And uh, so that's why my knee is hitting already. Okay. And then also I wanted to show you that the, the like sunroof thing is broken up into two. To, uh, there's like this, I think this is like the roll bar. Yeah. In between. I think I like the full like uninterrupted sunroof. I think so too. I think just based on the test drive, we haven't even test, we haven't test driven this car yet, but just based on sitting in the car, I like the Y better for the amount of space that you get. Yeah. And that's really the only reason why we're looking for a new car is because we need more space. So it just makes more sense to go with the Y just based off of sitting in the car. So let's drive it and see what we think about driving this car. Maybe that'll change our mind. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, also, sorry, the air's on, so it's gonna be a little bit louder, but when we first got here, we actually met some of you. You were here looking at the Model Y, um, and I think they said that they drove the Model 3, right? They own a Model 3, yeah. Yeah, they own a Model 3. They said they had it for like a year, and they liked it a lot. So, um, so that's good to know. Another thing that I just wanted to mention, just like an observation, there are so many people here. There are like, a lot of people looking at Teslas. There are so many people test driving Teslas today. And who knows how many people are actually like serious about buying. It might just be people that are just like, I want to sit in a Tesla. I want to drive one and see what it's like. But I was shocked to see how many people are out like car shopping right now. So just an interesting thing I thought I would mention. We've only driven just a, a like a little bit in the three, but I can tell you, yeah, it's too small. It's definitely, it's nice, but it feels like just maybe the slightest bit more space than we have in the Bolt. But with the Y, I feel a definite increase in the space. Right. I do have to say, I don't think I like this white interior. Yeah. Like, I do think it looks kind of cool, but I don't, it seems like a nightmare. Right. Like, I just think that we would ruin this so quick. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think I would want to do white interior. But I think we like the Y. I think we might get it. Yeah, I mean, you've definitely, this isn't like a rash, like, should we no, buy yeah, a Tesla I've been, today? I've been looking at cars for a, like a half a year now. Yeah, since we, basically since we took the first trip with Jackson in the car. Right. So we just realized like, whoa, like we need much more space for the amount of things that we have to bring for him. And I know that as he gets older, well, the amount of things that we have to bring will kind of lessen, but it just seems smart yeah. to have a, a bigger car especially like if down the road like if we do have another kid i think we would need more space then right you know if we get another dog we would need more space then there's just so many things that could happen in the future that we would just need more space right and after realizing what was wrong with the air conditioner in the other car mm -hmm. i understand like why it wasn't getting cool so i i believe like after being in this one it's the same air conditioner mm -hmm. and it, it's very cool in here now oh yeah it feels a lot better so I think sure. we just, just had the settings wrong in the other car. And that's something that I like that this car has a back seat AC vent. Right. In the Volt, we don't have that. So sometimes it's really hot in there. And I can actually set two different temperatures front and back. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, cool. And then this one has, and I believe all of them have this, but like if I go into the AC, I can set it up so that like if we, like if there's a dog in the car, the AC stays on, or if I if we're like camping, I guess you can leave the AC on. Oh. But it also like sentry mode is turned on, so like it it monitors your surroundings for you, which is interesting. But yeah, it's there's like so many interesting aspects of this. I think it would take me forever to try to figure out how to do everything in this car. Like even this, like there's like. We can watch Netflix. And that's, I purely think that they put that in for when you're charging. Yeah. Like, I don't think that they're thinking you're going to be driving and watching TV. So when you go to the Tesla quick charge, supercharge? Supercharger. Yeah. You, you have to wait like 15 minutes for your car to charge. So in those 15 minutes, you can occupy your time, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. 
And they have games too. Like you can play Centipede. Oh. Or apparently there's like a Fallout game or Cuphead or Fallout. So strange. Should we put on a Tim Tracker video? <laughs> no, we should do. <laughs> That's like when people used to go to the Apple store and like put their videos up on all the iPhones. And yeah, like this the... is the new trend. You put them up in the Tesla. <laughs> That's funny. Watching me uh, trying to swim with sharks. Oh yeah. Look at that. So now here's the question. What happens if I put the car into reverse? Like, does it go away? Oh yeah, it went away. But I can't see out the back. Like, I can't see any mirrors right now. Why? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Oh, okay. It must have just taken a second to turn on because I was on the YouTube. I was on the old YouTubes. Yeah. All right, so we just left the dealership. Sorry for all the road noise. We we're driving home, but we just left the dealership. We were there for... I want to say about two and a half, almost three hours. While we were there, we test drove two different cars, the Model Y and the Model 3. So we got a 30 minute test drive for each car, which gave us a pretty good indication of just what the car was like and how much space we would really have. The biggest issue that we had is, like we said earlier, is with the amount of space that we have in our current car, which is the Chevy Volt. So we ultimately ended up going with the Model Y. Um, we're super excited just to have more space and we're very excited to be going full electric. That was something we were just really excited to be able to do with our next car was to go full electric and we did it. So it's pretty awesome. So we're finally home and this buddy is having his lunch. Actually, this is his dinner. Is this his lunch? He's having lunch. Yeah. Blueberries and pears, huh? Blueberries and pears. How is it? Yummy, yummy. <laughs> do you love it? I think he really does love pears. Pears are like one of his favorite things. So earlier, earlier in the video, we talked about how we were gonna go have a lunch date. We were gonna go, we had planned on going to Park Avenue, Winter Park, which is a really nice area. It's kind of like an outdoor, kind of like an outdoor shopping area, sort of. And they have lots of restaurants where you can sit outside. They have lots of just cool stuff. I don't know, it's kind of like historic-y sort of, right? Is it historic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that's what we had planned on doing, but we took a little bit too long at the car dealership. So we needed to get Jackson home. He really needed to like, have his nap and eat his lunch and it was pretty warm outside. So instead of eating at one of those fun restaurants on Park Avenue, we got some PDQ. We got this, it's like a buffalo chicken sandwich, but this one has bacon and pepper jack cheese. Looks pretty delish. We got some zucchini fries and I got some of their like Mexican chili lime corn and Tim got some waffle fries. Waffle fries. So although we didn't do exactly what we thought we were gonna do, it's still pretty darn delicious. I wanted to tell you. Yeah, tell me. Um, the Model Y, which is the one that we ended up going with, the stroller, so in the Volt right now, if we put the stroller in the back, in the trunk, it takes up the entire trunk. Yeah, we have no trunk space. But when I put it, like I took it with us and I put it in the, in the back of the Model Y, there's tons of room in there. Well, it's still, it, it's not like tons of room, but I we mean, do have enough room to put like two suitcases back there. And groceries. like Because there's a there's um, storage under, did you show them that, the storage underneath? I don't know if I showed them, no. So under the actual trunk, there's storage like under that. There's like a little cubby underneath the actual trunk. And then in the front of the car, there's what's called a frunk, which is the front trunk because there is no engine. So there are like, there's definitely more space to store things, but it's not like one singular large space. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just remember I had, um, what was it? It was a, was it my Saturn? I can't remember. I had a car that had a ton of trunk space. I was like really shocked at the amount of trunk space that I had. I think it was the Saturn. Was it the Crown Victoria? Oh, I also, I used to drive a Grand Marquis, a 1987 Grand Marquis. This is back when we first started dating, I think, right? Yeah. Is that what I drove? Yeah. That thing had a huge trunk. Like I could fit, like another car in there. It was humongous. Um, I miss that car sometimes. It was a really good car. Speaking of trunks, the Model 3 trunk was actually quite spacious, but hard to get things in and out of because it extended like underneath the back deck. So there oh. was like a lot of space back there. I also, I could feel when you put stuff in the trunk. Oh, yeah, in I the felt, Model 3? Yeah, I felt it in, the, in my back. Like it was there, it was like very thin. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm glad to have more space because we didn't tell you this. I wish that we had the car for tomorrow because what are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, we're going to stay at Disney again. Yay. <laughs> so as soon as we got back, actually like while we were on our last day, we were like, we want to come back. Let's do this again. So we're going back. 
Bye bye. Going back, Marty. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. We'll show you where we're actually going tomorrow. We'll leave that to be a surprise for you guys tomorrow. But we're gonna stay at Disney again. I wish that we had the the new bigger car for that stay because we gotta do this all over again where we gotta bring the whole Love house. Stuff, yeah. Yeah. But I feel like it'll be easier now because we just did it. Yeah, you know, we have like an idea. We have like a, a game yeah. plan, and there's some stuff that we brought that we didn't need. Yeah. So like I can cut down on some of the packing. We probably won't. But we'll, we'll try. I will. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do it. So that's actually the other reason why I wasn't too sad that we didn't have our lunch date because for the next few days we can we can do lunch dates at Disney. Oh yeah. I'm excited. It's true. Yeah. Are you excited, buddy? <laughs> so last time I went to the grocery store I got these baby Cheetos for Jackson. And he's trying them now. What do you think? Do you love Cheetos? His other like puffy snacks are sweet, so this is kind of like new for him. Yeah. See, not a sweet one, it's a savory snack. What do you think? Want another Cheeto? He's like, I gotta learn how to chew. <laughs> He's trying. <laughs> I kind of got it. You thinking about it? You swallowing it whole? Don't swallow it whole, please. Did you do it? <laughs> yeah, he has cheese all over his hands. Mr. Cheesy Hands. Okay, so it's a few hours later. This lighting is really bad, sorry. It's a few hours later. I just finished editing the video. It's nine o'clock. You're watching the video. I think we're gonna put this video up tomorrow. I'm sorry that the videos have been going up so late. I've just like, it's just hard to edit the videos in a timely manner right now with the baby. So I think what I'm gonna do is put the video up tomorrow. That way I can get like back on schedule with like getting them up at a good time. Right. And then while you're watching the video, I am going to prep Jackson's baby food because we bought all this fresh produce and then we didn't prep his baby food and I feel like it's all gonna go bad if I don't do it right now before we leave. So that's what I'm gonna do. Nine o'clock, prepping baby food. Nine o'clock at night, prepping baby food. <laughs> yeah. So I'll show you what I'm doing. But then I also have to, this lighting is so bad. Okay, Tim said I just needed to turn on the other light and I guess you were right. Oh no. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, but I'm gonna go prep his baby food and then we leave tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, we're not going far. We're just going to Disney, but I just feel like, it, I just feel stressed because I feel like there's so many things that I need to do. Right. Like with the last trip, because it was a surprise, I didn't have time to clean the house before we left. And I'm like a big proponent of like, before you go on vacation, even if it's just for a couple days, you should clean your house. Right. Because then when you come back, you don't have to worry about anything. It's all clean. Like your dishes are done, your laundry's done. Everything's right. done, right? Well, but then it starts over again. Because you're coming back and you got a whole bunch of dirty clothes from your trip. Well, that's what I mean, though. Like you don't have to worry about, like that's one less thing you have to worry about. Right. Is like cleaning the house because it's already done. Right. So that's another thing that I wanted to do tonight was clean the house. Okay. The entire house? Well, just like the kitchen and like I wanted to clean off the dining room. I wanted to, I mean, yeah, kind of. Those are, that's our whole house, the kitchen and the dining room. I'm going to put stuff on the dining room table right now to yeah. prep for, for packing. <laughs> no. I'm going to put more stuff on it. That's the other thing. We have to pack. We haven't yeah, packed. We have to pack. So yeah, tonight, I feel like today there just, there's just a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff today. <laughs> All right. So we're prepping the mango now. We have it cut up into little chunks. We're going to put it in our Nutribullet. The little baby is sleeping over there. And then I also need to steam and prep the cauliflower and the green beans. And I have sweet potatoes, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do those tonight. So yeah, fun. <laughs> so here is the mango that I was able to get out of, this is how much came from two mangoes. I got a tray and a half. I'm gonna fill the other half of this tray up with the green beans that I'm prepping right now. I'm just gonna steam those up for like 15 minutes, blend them up, put them in my tray. So yeah, this honestly like doesn't take too super long. Like it's not terribly time consuming, but it's just, I just need to make the time. So now it is 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm very tired. You tired? I'm so tired, oh my gosh. But we, we did, do the baby food, not all of it. We did as much as we could. Right. I need more of those trays. I yeah. filled up the trays, so I need more of those. Then tomorrow, we didn't pack, so we gotta pack in the morning. We're not done with the laundry. So right. we have so much stuff to do in the morning. <laughs> but I think it'll be okay. Cause like, 
In all reality, check-in is not until like four. I asked to get early check-in. Which, so the last day that we had when we went to the tree houses, you said that the check-in was at four, but you asked to go in early. And I, I think, and we did, we were able to go in early. Yeah, I asked to go in at noon and they're like at 11. They're like, your room's ready. And I think because nobody is really staying at the resorts right now, it's much easier to get an early check-in. Right. So that's just like a tip if you're staying at the resort and you want more time, you can totally ask for it and more than likely you'll get it. Yeah. Which is exciting. Yeah, I'm excited for this day. Like, I'm very excited for it. I am really excited too, because it was one of those like bucket list things where like, we really, really want to do this. And Jackson did so well in the last day and I'm just excited to see how he does this time. Yeah, um, today was good. We uh, reserved a car. I, I, don't, I don't think I can say we bought a car yet. Yeah. Because all we did was put down some like a hundred dollars on it and they're like Which like isn't that kinda weird? Yeah. They're, 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 all you have to do is give them a hundred bucks and they're like, We trust you, you're good for yeah, it. They're like, We'll send you a car. I thought I feel like it should be more than that. Right? I mean I'm not complaining, like but I just thought it was weird. I feel like Tesla is like, oh, we'll sell it anyways, even if you don't take it. That's true, yeah, that's a very good point. Because I really could not believe how busy the dealership was. Yeah. I thought for sure, I'm like, because Tim said he had to make a reservation, and I was like, why? Like, how many people? Like, what? Yeah. There were a lot of people there. I know. And I can't wait to show you guys the car when it comes. Yeah. Cause I we can't never... wait to show you guys the Easter eggs. I, I oh. researched the Easter eggs. Yeah. Uh, and I learned how to do them all, so. Get ready for a show. Also, I found out that Teslas are like Jeeps, whereas like people really like owning Teslas and they really like buying accessories for their Teslas. Mm -hmm. So there's like so many things. Like the Model Y just came out and there's so many accessories for it. I feel like we probably won't get a bunch of accessories. I don't think we need them. We need an inflatable mattress for the back seat. Like, that actually I think would be really cool because we could camp. Yeah. That would be cool. Which I didn't realize that people camp in Teslas. There's a camping mode on the car. I know, but like, I don't know. I didn't think people camped in Teslas. Well, got all your bases covered. So when you want to camp in your Tesla, you can. Right. We're we going to were... do it. Can we camp in our Tesla at Fort Wilderness? I... Yes. Hmm. That's a good question. Would you have to be in one of the RV spots? I don't or, think so because we wouldn't need like electric hookup. Well, but you could use electric, like if you're staying for more than one day, you just plug it in and it runs for eternity. Oh. Hmm. Maybe? Maybe we will. Maybe we'll go camping in our Tesla at Fort Wilderness. <laughs> Future video. Future video. <laughs> all in all, it was a good day. It was an exciting day. It's always mm -hmm. exciting when like you get to test drive cars. That's something that I really like doing. I don't know why. Yeah. Like, I, I've always liked cars. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I remembered, sorry. What? So, um, you, yeah, you were just saying, like, it's it's like owning a Jeep, how people, yeah. like, like to, drive, you know, drive Jeeps. So, my last car that I had was a Saturn. Right. And that was one of the things with, I was excited to get a Saturn, because, do you remember the old Saturn commercials where they would, like, wave at each other? Right. And I thought, I literally was like, I'm gonna get this Saturn, I'm gonna make so many friends who drive Saturns, like, I'm just gonna be waving at everybody, and it's gonna be so cool. That never happened. You didn't ever wave at anybody. No, I waved at everybody and nobody ever waved back at me. Oh. Yeah, like that what that heck? that was a lie. Saturn peeps, got to wave back. Well, not even it's not even a thing anymore. Well, yeah, but I mean, people still drive Saturns. They can wave at each other. I wonder if they do. Yeah. Do you remember that commercial though where they were like all Saturn owners like wave at each other and we have a they had like a yearly um get together for Saturn owners. Wow. Yeah. But anyway, Today yeah. was a good day. We had a really, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah. So there you have it. With that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So today's organization that we want to shine a spotlight on is the Advancement Project. And they are inspiring and supporting national and local movements towards a just democracy. They use innovative tools and strategies to strengthen social movements and achieve high impact policy change. So this is definitely an important organization. If you wanna take a look and read more about how they're helping the community, we will leave a link in the description down below for you to check out and we hope that you will. So, but thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We had a lot of fun. We hope you had fun and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching this video.